Let us have a look at how data analytics fits in in quantitative research. Quantitative research involves collecting and analyzing numeric data to identify patterns, relationships, and trends. It is important because it can provide objective and reliable insights into complex phenomena which can inform decision making in various fields such as business, healthcare and social sciences. This presentation will provide an overview of key concepts and techniques in data analysis in quantitative research. Data can be collected through various methods such as surveys, experiments, and observations. It is important to select an appropriate sample size and sample method to ensure the data is representative and reliable. Common sampling methods include random sampling, stratified sampling, and cluster sampling. Descriptive statistics are used to summarize and describe the characteristics of a data set. The mean is the average of a set of values, while the median is the middle value and the mode is the most frequent value. The standard deviation measures the spread of the data around the mean. Graphs can be used to visually represent data and identify patterns and trends. Histograms show the distribution of data. Scatter plots show the relationship between two variables whereas box plots show the distribution and variability of the data. It's important to choose the appropriate type of graph based on the nature of the data and research question. Correlation analysis measures the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables. The correlation coefficient ranges from negative 1 to positive 1 with higher values indicating a stronger positive relationship and low values indicating a weaker or negative relationship. It is important to consider other factors such as causality and third variables when interpreting correlations. Regression analysis is used to model the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Simple linear regression models a linear relationship between two variables while multiple regression models the relationship between a dependent variable and multiple independent variables. Regression analysis can be used to make predictions and test hypotheses about the relationship between variables. Hypothesis testing involves setting up a null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis. The significance level determines the threshold for rejecting the null hypothesis. Common tests include t-tests, ANOVA, and chi-square tests. Statistical significance means that the results of a study are unlikely to have occurred by chance. It's determined by comparing the p-value to the significance level. Statistical significance doesn't necessarily imply practical significance, which is the importance or relevance of the results in real-world contexts. Let's have a look at the most common statistical software packages. SPSS is a popular software package for data analysis and quantitative research. It allows users to input and manipulate data, perform various statistical analysis, and create visualizations. It is important to choose a software package based on the specific needs and goals of the research project. 